I'm Sammy. Today we're going to talk about the energy that we're moving into, which is the Sun in Leo with Mercury opposing Saturn in Aquarius. So the Sun is going to be directly opposing Saturn. And when this happens, this brings conflict, challenge, restrictions, and with Mercury there with the Sun, this is how we think. This is how we communicate. It's how we talk. So, as well as um, Mercury can be travel, like airplanes and such. So, Saturn can bring any kind of challenge or conflict, anything that puts a stop <laughs> on your plans, throws obstacles in the way, Saturn can be representative of karma. So sometimes it's like Saturn's wanting you to try a different way. You know, it's like you can't have exactly what you want, which would be the Sun in Leo, which is like following your heart, being very happy, loving, caring, uh, open hearted, and compassionate, and um, wanting. The best of the best or nice things so this is like the idea that we have moving forward the things that we think that we want and then Saturn going like mm -mm. <laughs> no not either a not gonna turn out the way you thought B you're starting to see more challenges building around that thing or C in relationships especially you're gonna be having a hard time communicating what it is exactly that you want your desire so it's like having a hard time connecting where if you've ever been in a conversation with someone you know what I mean where it's like they're just not getting it they have to have no idea what you're talking about right so it's like you could say it a million different ways but if they're not able to see from your perspective they're just not going to agree like they're just not gonna see it your way and that's fine Okay, I'm just saying these are the type of situations that can possibly come up. Also airline stuff, stuff with airlines. Airplane, restrictions, travel, plane crashes, that sort of thing. Also, Saturn with opposing the sun, this can represent issues with authority, issues with your father, issues in your life that may have been caused by your father like let's say you have abandonment issues okay that's very common let's say your dad left or something when you're young and ever since then you were always trying to be the man of the house or you always wanted to be super serious and get stuff done and you weren't able to feel comfortable or safe in your space so you're constantly looking for ways to portray this safety or portray this alpha male or whatever. This is just an example, okay? It's the same for women too. Any kind of daddy issues may be coming up now and it may not be with them. I mean, they may already have passed or whatever. I'm saying these are issues that you feel deep down that may be related to the father and or related to any kind of government authority, an authority in your life like a boss um, or your husband or wife, you know, someone who has a say in your world. So these are the kind of things that we're going to be seeing. This actually comes into effect, its peak point will be August 2nd, which is this Monday coming. But I wanted to make this video now because we're already starting to feel this energy as the sun moves further into Leo, it's going to be lining up with Saturn. So we're already coming close. And this week, I'm really going to feel it and we're going to see it. More restrictions, um, feeling like the things that we want to do, we can't do. Or the places we want to go, we can't go. And this is especially true for further travels. So we want to be more focused on this. Gemini North Node is talking about local, so we want to think more about what we can do locally. What can you do in your own life? What do you have control over right now? what's right in front of you right now that can bring you your ultimate happiness so these are things that you should already know you should already see this um it is possible during this time i suppose 
to start something new. But I would say majority of the people who will be feeling this, which should be everyone, you already know what this energy is about. Okay, and, and you can look more into this into your chart to see exactly how it will be affecting you or already is. And you could just get confirmation this way because you should already be feeling this really. I know I am. So you look at your chart for where is Leo in your chart because that's where the sun and Mercury will be. And then where is Aquarius? So that's where Saturn is. And so any kind of communication issues and relationships, you may be feeling like, you want things to go a certain way, right? Or you want to be closer to someone, let's say. Let's say you want to take your level of commitment or effort in the relationship higher. And the other person is like, no, I'm good. Or actually, even worse, I need space, actually. Like, maybe we shouldn't do this. So it's just that feeling of conflict, like, I want more or I know what I want but I'm unable to have it whether it's your spouse or your friends or your career anything you're trying to do we're gonna feel more restricted especially coming into Monday all this weekend we're gonna feel it so keep that in mind and then probably continuing into the third and fourth of August maybe even until the fifth until the sun moves further into Leo. So I want to do a quick all signs for what we can expect for this weekend. I'm just going to pull a couple cards. I always say that and then these readings are like an hour and a half long. So I just wanted to go over the energy. That is the most vital part of this video. But if you're interested, you can stick around for this all signs reading. I'm just going to pull a couple cards each to see what may be your focus this weekend or where you may be feeling this issue if it's an issue at all okay and just keep in mind that with this energy of restriction you're gonna be feeling possibly rejected okay you're gonna be feeling like what I want I can't have and it's just to pivot if you watched my last video I talked about how we got to pivot so it's like we got to find another way a better way what is the ultimate joyous, happiest thing in your life right now that you could have right now? That's in front of you right now. Not the thing that's like, in six months, I'm gonna do this, or if I save some money, then I can do this, then I'm gonna figure it out. What do you have right now that you love, that you're passionate about, that you could take to the next level? That's what we're wanting to move forward with. And for some people, it's relationships. For some people, it's going to be career. You know, for some people, it's household things or material things. Um, so do not worry. Spirit was just reminding me to say don't worry because that was the Nine of Swords popped out. So I was meaning to say that when I thought about making this video. So the worry or the fear of the restriction, the limitation of, oh, it's like every move I make, I'm stuck. Or I can't get past this one thing. Or what I really want my partner doesn't want the same things. That restriction will pass. It is here to show us something. Astrology always does that. You know, the planets are here to bring things up in us that we can change. So do not get stuck in that fearful worry energy. Try to laugh it off. Try to use the Leo energy, which is like the clown, you know, the joker and the child like keep an open heart and just try to when you see the restrictions happening you already knew they were coming if you've seen this video if not in hindsight and you're seeing this video then it's like aha that's why either way try not to worry don't sit in that energy everything's happening for a reason of course so we just want to think about those limitations is there something we can do about it is there a way that we can pivot and bring change that will allow us to move forward because we're going to want to move forward and progress and be happy and Saturn's like but wait but what about but now you can't dang you Saturn in aqua right now <laughs> okay thank you spirit so let's start with Capricorn Please tell us a little bit about Capricorn this weekend, Spirit, with the Sun opposing Saturn. 
what can we expect for Capricorn, their current energy, or the energy they can expect for this transit? Capricorn, please. There's one. Let's see. There's another. The Hermit. And Nine of Cups. Okay, so Hermit mode is going into yourself. It's going into relaxation mode. It's going into isolation mode to where you may want to be more on your own this weekend. And that's completely understandable. If people are throwing limitations and restrictions in your face, you know, or you just don't want to be around people. I'm sick of people too, Capricorn. So this is great. This is Virgo energy. You're still in planning mode. You're still learning. You're still organizing. You may want to organize your closet or something. You may uh, have plans to organize your dresser or give stuff away. Um, this is the perfect time to do that so that your focus isn't on your limitations, but just making the little moves that you can within your enclosed space. And that's exactly what I was talking about. Here we have the Nine of Cups, which is your wish fulfillment. So ultimately, you're going to be isolating yourself, looking for higher knowledge, really rethinking things, and figuring out the best way to approach your new life, your wish fulfillment, whatever new thing it is that you're trying to develop. Now is a great time to organize and plan and construct those ideas. Okay, the idea of it, not implementing it, but it would be a good time to just probably stay away from people. You also have Nine of Pentacles on the bottom, which means you're feeling self-sufficient. Your money is probably good right now. So you may be wanting more luxur luxurious things. This is like, right now, this energy is like spa day. That's what I feel like, the hermit with <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. So if you want to stay home and take a hot bath and put on some nice music and make yourself... Um, some brownies, you know, that would be a great thing to do right now, Capricorn, because it's getting hectic out there. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Let's move to Aquarius. Okay, we got one. Nine of Pentacles. We just talked about that. So, what else we got? Okay, Seven of Cups. So, Nine of Pentacles is this luxurious energy. It's a uh, single female in this card, but it could be being self-sufficient, being stable on your own, making good money, feeling abundant, feeling like, I got this, I'm, I'm good. Well, we have Seven of Cups with it. So this could be this weekend. You may be feeling like you have options when it comes to money, making more money, or feeling more stable and self-sufficient, and perhaps some of those options aren't gonna work out. So there's one option that will, if you're thinking about too many things and your focus is scattered, there come those limitations and restrictions. I think you would already know this by now. What are your limitations, right? So when you're looking at all these options, and sometimes this card means like you're delusional. Like these are illusions. Like you, you couldn't really have all those things. You may think in your mind like, oh yeah, I could do all these things. Or I could have all these guys or girls. Or I could do... <laughs> so many things and in reality that's not true it's like one thing and the rest is fantasy so Aquarius focus on the thing that you could really have the thing that will put you in this nine of Pentacles energy where you're feeling good and stable and secure and just be cautious about the options that that you have this card could also be confusion so I think it's time to just really get serious about there we go, judgment on the bottom. This is about your inner knowing, okay? You know what this is. This is an inner calling that you've had. You may have feel called or intuitively guided towards one of these options that you have. The rest, you need to throw out, okay? And that will get rid of your confusion. Whatever makes you feel the most self-sufficient, stable, abundant, not a care in the world, independent, and focus on your inner knowing because you already know what this is. Thank you. Why is that coming out? I didn't even ask it. Spirit, get it together. Thank you, let's go to Pisces. Pisces, please. Current energy in this weekend into August 5th for Sun opposing Saturn for the sign of Pisces.
Okay. We've got one, two, perfect. Thank you. Three of Pentacles. Okay, this is about constructing things. This is about building. This could be with a partner, or this could be uh, business even. You could be wanting to build a house. It's just about building with others. So if you're volunteering somewhere, or you need to collaborate with people in order to move forward with a business plan or something that makes money or anything that brings stability. This could be collaborating in a relationship, building with someone, buying a house with someone, wanting to move forward. It's, it's representative of wanting to move forward with others. So Pisces as well, you have Ace of Pentacles, which is a new form of money, abundance, or security in some way. So it seems that at this time, you're going to be wanting to move forward with something. This could be a relationship, this could be a career, and you're going to have to work with others on this. And this energy is going to feel restrictive because we're not able to communicate the way we want. They're not seeing our side, we're not seeing theirs, and it's harder to come together. Limitations on things that you can do or people regulating things and answering to that higher authority like I mentioned before. So you're wanting to really push for this Ace of Pentacles and I think that you will. The thing is Pisces, we're lazy. We are. We procrastinate. And it's because, <laughs> you know, we have so many other things that we're doing and thinking of in, in other realms. So it's fine. You're just going to have to get serious and or you're dealing with the Libra. King of Swords on the bottom. So this is about being diligent, hard working, like logical. What is the most logical, best way to go about it? And this is a seriousness to this. Um, this could also be representative of Saturn and this Aquarian energy. So it could be you're dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but also that you're going to have to get serious for whatever this is that you're building towards. I feel like you're going to have to prove it, if that makes sense. You're going to have to prove that you can be diligent and hardworking and get shit done. You need a plan. This guy is about strategy. So figure out your strategy. If you're having a hard time collaborating with others, you got to find a different angle. Okay, because ultimately we want this Ace of Pentacles, we want this good stuff. So it looks really good for you, Pisces. If you're having a hard time collaborating, you know, wait a few days maybe or try it a different way. And get serious. Okay, Aries, please. Let's shuffle. Aries. for this weekend, Sun opposed Saturn, current energy until the 5th for Aries. Whoa, temperance. Temperance popped out. That's a Sagittarius card, in case you're wondering. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay, justice. Wow. Okay, Aries. This looks good because Spirit is saying, or your higher self, or whoever you believe is talking to you right now, me, I'm saying temperance is about patience. It's about healing. It's about kind of putting the brakes on a little bit because you need to tweak it. You need to use your own alchemy and, and try a different way. Manifestation or really like moving energy, changing things around to bring in a new perspective, a new possibility. It's like this thing is coming to you, you're gonna have to listen to higher guidance on this and you could have already been guided towards this. This card usually represents patience and healing. So it takes time, whatever this is, but you will get justice. You may also be dealing with the Libra, like Pisces was. This is the justice card. There's a scale on here which talks about balance. 
So bringing something back into balance or getting justice in some form is coming, but you may have to tweak it a little bit. Look at the situation in a different way. Also, this is the Knight of Swords, so someone's coming in to take action. Now, this could be you, but this card is about swift, super fast action. Something comes in fast for you. So I think you take this time this weekend, really try to heal a little bit, try to work on yourself, try to figure out what few things you could change in order to have a better outcome. You are going to get justice in the situation and things will come back into balance. And it seems as though it will happen quickly. So there could be someone coming towards you. It could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but no matter what, that energy is coming in quickly. Despite spirits like saying, hold off for now, just for a little bit, and let this work out. Let this work itself out because something is definitely coming in, moving quickly. Thank you. Let's go to Taurus. Thank you, Spirit. Taurus, for this weekend through August 5th, Taurus energy for Sun opposed Saturn. Ooh. Taurus, the full reverse. Feeling a little bit foolish. Possibly feeling like an idiot, you know, like you made the wrong choice or somebody fooled you. Possibly somebody taking advantage. What's up with Taurus? Tell me about this full reverse, please. One more card, Spirit. Okay, Ace of Cups. So, there's a couple possibilities here. Tower on the bottom. Okay, something either has already happened or you feel this about to happen, like a breakup, shakeup, something when it comes to new love. So this could be, on one side, it could be really great. It could be that you're trying to stay open about this even though you feel kind of stupid for moving towards this thing new love would come in and then we have the tower which could be the new love itself it could be the love of your life which causes a tower moment it doesn't have to be bad it's just something that comes in shakes up kind of destroys things you have to rebuild but you build back better and it's always better so it could be something coming in that causes you to change things and causes you to change the way you think about love Taurus, and sometimes you are very guarded and it's hard for you to trust people emotionally and in love. So I could see how that could be the case for you. On the other hand, this could be that you're feeling foolish now when it comes to love because of a tower moment. So you could be fearful that someone is taking advantage of you. The Ace of Cups is in the upright. So it is new love. Someone may have come in, swept you off your feet. You could have thought it was new love. For some reason, you may feel foolish this weekend and into August 5th. Okay, a tower moment. Something comes in and causes a shakeup. So, hopefully you're not feeling foolish. Hopefully it really is new love. Try not to be too guarded if you think it's something that could be real. Okay, if you think they're wasting your time, then yeah, you're probably right. Feeling like you don't want to be taken advantage of. Of course not. So, but you may be finding out something this weekend when it comes to love that you weren't really expecting. A surprise. And that may have you feeling foolish about love. Alright, Taurus. Best of luck to you. Spirit, tell me about Gemini, please, for this weekend. Gemini, from now to August 5th, with the sun opposing Saturn for Gemini. Gemini energy. Okay, Eight of Swords. One more for Gemini, please. Okay, we'll stop right there. Eight of Swords is feeling trapped, feeling trapped in your own mind, feeling like you don't have the freedom that you want and or trapped in 
the negative thought process thinking things aren't going to work out because we have ten of cups right next to it so it's like you could have this really great thing unfortunately you may be nitpicking right now or you may be in your own head thinking of all the shit that they did and how it's never going to work out and how it's never going to be this ten of cups <laughs> and how you just want to be single because here she is again nine of pentacles so Gemini you may have been coming out of being single. Sometimes spirit gives me these cards like a past thing, like this was in the past. Sometimes it's not the past. It's like an underlying feeling that you have that will turn into more in the future. So take it how it resonates for you. But Eight of Swords is definitely trapped in your own headspace. And Gemini, you do that. You think too much. You just do all your signs do, and that's fine. But if you want this happy Ten of Cups, why are you doing this to yourself? It's like you can't, you don't believe it's possible. And so you just want to remain very self-sufficient and stable and maybe thinking like, I'd just rather stay single. And I'm saying that because of this Ten of Cups. This could actually be about money. You know, it could be that you want all of these things. You want this great abundance. You want this happy ever after life. And you're feeling like it's impossible to have or maybe you feel like you have to be on your own or very independent you may be feeling like you need to get away from somebody it could be a business partner it could be the job that you're in it could be family um, or a spouse but it seems as though you're thinking this is never going to be what you want it to be this happily ever after and so this underlying feeling somewhere deep down you're thinking that it's better if you go your own way Okay, and remember this is the energy through the fifth, at least. So, you may not be feeling it now. But you may have already been feeling it, really. We'll see how it goes. Tell me about Cancer, please. Cancer for this week through August 5th. Oh, that jumped right out! Three of Wands! We get another one for Cancer for the Sun opposing Saturn. Yeah. Okay. So Three of Wands is like, what else is out there? It's waiting for your ships to come in. It's feeling like I've worked towards something or I've started something and I'm waiting for it to show me <laughs> my results. Like, where's the money? Where's the love? And it also could be about travel. This card is about expansion. So Three of Wands is like, what else is out there? What else could I have? It could be about travel. You may be wanting to travel. It's usually a more long distance thing. Um, but it's like a card of waiting, of having to be patient to see what else is out there. It is a good card of expansion and possibility. Um, however, with uh, the Nine of Wands next to it, I feel like these are restrictions, honestly. Cancer, you may be wanting to travel and you can't. Also, you may be wanting things to fall into place right now and feel like you put in the effort and work towards it, or at least you feel good about it, or you did, and maybe we're working towards something you're passionate about or creative about. You have this fire in you and it's like, oh, it may be starting to fizzle out. Like, where are my results? So you could be getting upset about this. I feel like Nine of Wands is more protective energy. It can be like, I'm gonna stand by this and stick to it and make sure that it goes how I want. But you can't be too firm right now because as I mentioned, we're gonna have a lot of restrictions and limitations. So you can't fight back against that energy, you know, with the same type of energy. You're just gonna have to pivot and go around it somehow. We have the Hanged Man on the bottom, which is a Pisces card. So if this is about someone else, you could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, or a Pisces. The Hanged Man card is taking a pause and reflecting, trying to see things from a different point of view. Sometimes it represents not knowing, being indecisive, like not knowing what choice to make or some type of confusion. But overall, it's about kind of hesitating a bit to see if this is really what you want. Because it seems like you're you're firm on it, you want to fight for it. Okay, but but 
at the same time, Nine of Wands can be like you have your guard up. So it's like you want all these great things, but at the same time it's like, oh, but I'm not willing to do all that. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, yes, I want expansion. I want all these things. But it has to be my way. So Spirit is saying, I think, you need to maybe take a second look at this. Try to see it from a different perspective. Maybe there's something that you're missing. Or maybe you need to kind of be more lenient on your expectations right now. Because we have these restrictions in place. Uh, and Saturn's going to keep doing that while it's opposed to sun until August 5th. So there could be other limitations that come into play. So maybe just um, don't be so hard on yourself on how things go and your expectations. Allow room for change when it comes to these things that you're expecting to come in. Thank you, Cancer. Let's move to Leo, please. Same exact card. Leo, Three of Wands. What else for Leo, please? For Sun and Mercury in Leo opposing Saturn. Oh. Oh my. Okay. So Leo, same thing as Cancer in the beginning, right now, Three of Wands is about looking for what's next. It's about what else is out there? What else can I have? What else can I build? Um, what else am I calling in for myself? And or also it could be travel, long distance, wanting to expand, explore, maybe even explore your mind, research new things. We do have this Six of Swords. You could be moving away from something right now. So it's like you're looking out to other possibilities, I feel like. Like, what does it look like if it doesn't look like what I have right now? Just thinking about expanding outward and transitioning into a new life. You could be physically moving um, or about to move. Someone may tell you out of nowhere that you need to move, that sort of thing. But... Uh, we also have the Empress. So I feel like you're wanting to move out of a stagnant energy. Uh, you could be leaving behind an idea that you had that you thought was going to bring you something, a relationship that you thought was going to bring in something, but it seems like you're still waiting on that to evolve. So instead of waiting, it seems like you're just moving toward the Empress, which could be a person, or it could just be an energy that you're in now where you want to just get it yourself. Like, I'm not gonna wait on anybody else to come in. I'm just gonna move in that direction. I'm gonna leave behind whatever it was I was waiting on because this is more guaranteed energy. The Empress is very abundant. She's fertile. She's got it all. She can get anything she wants. She's magnetic. She's a super manifester. She births creation into the physical, seriously. And we have Knight of Wands on the bottom. So you could be wanting more passion, more adventure, or someone like this could be another Leo, Sagittarius or Aries, maybe coming into your world soon to bring in and introduce this new energy of passion and adventure and uh, creativity possibly. So Knight of Wands is someone coming in. It could be passionate. It could be more about love or sex. But it doesn't have to be. It could just be someone who comes in and shows you a good time. Someone who's really fun. Um, and or this is just you saying, I'm going to take action now. I'm going to move towards the things that I'm passionate about. And that could be this empress. So whether it is a real empress, flesh and blood, I don't know. Only you know. But you are moving away from something and going through a transitionary period right now where you're letting go of things that haven't really evolved, things that feel stagnant, and moving towards something that are way more abundant, way more plausible and like real, things that you can accomplish, 
possibly on your own or possibly with someone else. An Empress or a Knight of Wands. Take it out resonates, Leo. Interesting. You guys got extra cards. Lucky, because it's, it's Leo season. Happy birthday, Leos. Let's move into Virgo. Hi, Virgo. Spirit, tell me about Virgo. From now until August 5th, for the sign opposed Saturn energy. Please tell me about Virgo. Okay, we'll just take both. This Nine of Pentacles is the card of the day. It's coming out like, it's come out in at least four of the readings so far. Okay, we got Page of Swords. So Virgo, you may be planning, researching, being very analytical right now, thinking things through, trying to um, study, research new things. You may be going back to school. This card can also mean stalking. This can be like you're watching someone um, or watching and waiting on a situation. You also got the Hermit card, which is your own card. So this is about you going in uh, within internally, maybe meditating, maybe um, seeking some sort of higher truth or knowledge at this time. And then we have this Nine of Pentacles. So it's like... I feel like there's something that you want or someone that you want, Virgo. And you're watching them. <laughs> I don't know. Page of Swords can just be wanting to communicate, going to, um, thinking about talking to someone about something or starting up a conversation, a logical conversation. You may feel like something needs to be said. However, you're more in isolation mode right now, which makes me feel like stalker. What are you doing, Virgo? At the same time, we have this Nine of Pentacles. You could be watching a single female. I don't know. Comment below, please. But this is like, I mean, you could just be studying, I guess for Virgo, females or males out there who are studying and researching more and, and just growing and sticking to yourself, meditating more and becoming this very independent and sexy, luxurious, hot, abundant person. Just very self-sufficient. Like, I'm good. Also, we have this five of swords on the bottom. So somebody's been giving you shit. Or you've been just coming into conflict lately and you just want to move away from that. You could be feeling defeated at this time. You could be the opposite and, and you could have been starting shit with people and now you feel victorious. Maybe you walked away from somebody and you're feeling like you're hot shit right now because of this argument or whatever this confrontation is. Or this is what's going to be happening over the next week. I don't know, but you're definitely learning more about something, looking into something researching more about something okay and going into your higher mind trying to evolve a little bit seeking some wisdom here some enlightenment and I feel like you're gonna come out of it feeling really good cuz whether you're single or not you're gonna be feeling very independent like you came out of it learning something knowing better and getting rid of this attitude of it's like uh, I'm better than you over someone trying to overpower you or control you or vice versa maybe you Virgo okay let's go to Libra please something wanted to pop out and it was the six of pentacles let's see let's see if we get it tell me about Libra please for this energy of Sun opposing Saturn So for Libra rising, I think Saturn in Aquarius, it would be impacting your fourth or fifth house, dependent on 
the degree placement, but that's not it. Should we take them? I'm going to take them. Okay. Wanting to move forward, wanting to work on something. This is Eight of Wands. So moving fast towards something, okay? And this may actually put you in a bad situation here because look what popped out together. Three of Cups and the Sun in reverse. So whether there's a third party situation or not, I feel like you're going to be overdoing it because you're going to be rushing towards something, okay? Or somebody's rushing towards you, but it does not feel happy. It feels very unhappy. So you actually, this is like the energy of Libra goes through breakup and then now they want to go out because they're hurting. So they're going to overdo it. They might drink. They might meet some rando, okay? And it's because they're unhappy or because they're depressed. So be careful not to drink too much. Don't drink too much this weekend. For some reason, I feel the need to say that, Libra. But also, you have an inner knowing about this thing. This, this reading is like, if you go out, you're gonna get a DUI. That's what this reading is, in some ways, okay? Because you have this inner knowing, you have this judgment. If you get a bad feeling this week, don't do it. If you feel like calling somebody and talking shit, don't do it, okay? Because this is like you want to collaborate with others, but we have the sun reverse. It could be Leo, actually, that you're dealing with, but it's like you have this inner knowing something's not right or somebody isn't happy. You could be feeling like the people around you aren't happy if it's not you. You could be feeling like the people closest to you or your friends aren't happy, and you have this inner knowing about something. And I really feel like it's you needing to work on yourself or understanding that you're better off right now just working on yourself because of this eight of pentacles here. So it's like you're building, you're focused on you, you're ready to move forward into something, but be careful how you go about doing that. It's like you want to celebrate, but then we have this unhappiness. It's like you're moving too quickly out of something or towards something and it's good to move forward but what are you running to what are you moving towards uh, because it doesn't seem like a happy thing and I feel like you know this already for some of you you may be trying to escape something here and feeling like you can build better on your own or master yourself or or be more stable and secure on your own. It's like you have this inner knowing that you may just, if you're in a relationship, you may just want to be single. But it's like you're not going to be happy. Don't overdo it. Do not run into the arms of another, Libra. If you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> because you know already, you have this inner knowing. That right now, you need to change something about you. That's what I'm getting. Right now, it's something about you. And you may try to avoid it. You may try to send a bunch of messages or talk a lot or do your slick talk. Your charming, slick, smooth talk, Libra. But something's not right there. Something is... It's like it's fake. It's like, yeah, let's go out and celebrate. But deep down, it's like, you're not happy. Or like, yeah, I'm going to try to go talk to this girl, but really you don't want to. It's like just to make yourself try to feel better. And you already know better. It's like you already know. What are you doing, Libra? All right. We're almost done here. Tell me about Scorpio. Scorpio, please. For the energy of Sun opposed Saturn from now to August 5th. For, for Scorpio, that was Ace of Pentacles. Just so you know. Tell me about Scorpio, please, Spirit, from now to August 5th, while the Sun is in opposition to Saturn. Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, please.
Scorpio, you don't feel like talking. Okay, Queen of Wands reverse. Mm. I don't know, a little too cocky? A little too confident? Um, okay, we'll take these. Magician and Page of Wands, okay. Queen of Wands reverse, you could be dealing with a Leo Sagittarius or Aries. It's like you're not feeling confident. You could be trying to overcompensate and come off cocky, you know, like arrogant, gross. Um, and when Queen of Wands is in reverse sometimes, she is only thinking about herself. She's not being very compassionate to others. And so in this way, Scorpio, this could be someone you're dealing with or this could be your energy right now. You might just be like, you know what? I'm not dealing with the BS anymore. I don't care about your feelings. I'm going to do me. And it is kind of a negative thing. But maybe it empowers you because we have the magician. Okay, so you are creating this new energy somehow. We have Page of Wands right after that. you got extra cards too, just like Leo. So Page of Wands is about embracing a new adventure. Seeing what else is out there. Thinking about, because Page is are usually thinking or conversating. They're not really taking action. So you could be talking about wanting to go on an adventure, travel, um, start something new, creative project, or something that you're passionate about. And you're creating this. It could be because you don't feel confident right now that you're trying to manifest some sort of new love in your life or something, someone to come in and prove to you that you're the shit. <laughs> you already know that. And we got Hierophant on the bottom. This could have to do with the marriage. You could be saying F you to the marriage and cr trying to create something new elsewhere, okay? Or wanting someone else, something new, something passionate. This is not a king of wands. This is not like an emperor coming in. This is a page of wands. So this could just be like a fling. This could just be something to get your head out of where you are right now. Because like you don't know your worth or you're not feeling confident in this moment you know you can manifest because you're doing it magician you're creating things here and I think you're wanting to create something new and hot and passionate will it grow into something more it very possibly could turn into marriage maybe you want stability and security and maybe you have traditional values surrounding marriage hierophant maybe it's a Taurus you know, you could be talking to a Taurus, Scorpio. But I am going to say, it's okay if you don't feel confident, but get out of your head a little bit because you don't want to have like a giant ego and come off super arrogant because you're trying to overcompensate for your self-esteem issues. I'm just saying. And take this out, it resonates, okay? Some may resonate, some may not. Just take it like that. I feel good about this reading. I feel like you're either feeling like shit because of a marriage and you're getting out of it and you're trying to create something new that you can move towards so you can feel better about yourself or you're not feeling too confident so you're trying to manifest something new just to get your hopes up, something that could possibly turn into marriage. Okay Scorpio, thank you very much. Last but never the least, you already know that, Sagittarius. Thank you, Spirit. Please tell us about Sagittarius from now to August 5th while the sun is opposing Saturn. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Whoa. Did you see that? <laughs> the magician came back. You are manifesting. You are creating. I can hear you now. I'm going to do this and this and this. I'm going to have this and this and this. I'm calling into me this and this and this. This is a good time to manifest. Maybe not the time to see it come in to play yet, but this is a great time to be thinking about it planning it out, 
calling it in. What else for Sagittarius spirit? While Sun is opposing Saturn. Okay. I feel like you guys get this card a lot. Seven of Wands. This is like the defense card. This is like needing to defend yourself or needing to fight your way through something. Needing to fight somebody on something. Or needing to just stand up for yourself. Um, it's like, hey. Alright? It's like that. Like, don't, hey! Look at this guy. <laughs> he's got this wand. Can you see? Anyway, he has this wand. And he's like, don't come any closer. I'll F you up. So, you may be feeling like you're needing to defend what it is you see for yourself in the future. Like people saying like, that's not a good idea. Or Saturn being like, you can't do all that. You're not getting all that. And you're like, hey, yeah, I am. And you're there and you're standing up for yourself. And I feel like you're gonna get it. You may be being kind of lazy right now. I'm just gonna put it out there. Because the magician who's manifesting but also kind of being defensive, maybe like, am I doing everything I could be doing right now? I don't know. I'm just saying. Don't shoot the messenger. That's not for everybody either. And I know some of you Sagittarius are very hard working. Okay? Some of you not so much. So, also on the bottom, Wheel of Fortune. So, something starts to turn in your favor. I feel like the more you fight for this, the more you put it into action, the more you call it in, the more you're willing to go for it and stand up for yourself and stand your ground, you're manifesting this for yourself, but you're also implementing, taking action. And it's going to be something that you feel very strongly about. Okay? Whatever this is that you're creating for yourself. And the Wheel of Fortune could be Spirit saying, keep at it. It's coming. Don't give up. Keep fighting for it. So don't lose hope on whatever this thing is, Sagittarius. Because good things are coming to you, Wheel of Fortune. You may want to play the lottery. Anyway, okay. So Wheel of Fortune means a lesson has been learned in many cases. Karma has been answered for or served. And now you get to start on something new. Now things start changing. There's a, there's a change in the wind for you. And something starts to move in the direction of what you are already working towards and manifesting for yourself. Thank you, Spirit. Let's do a collective real quick, super quick, super fast collective for everybody. Sun opposed Saturn, please. Collective for Sun opposed Saturn. Collective, please. Okay. Holding on to what you got. This is the collective now. So, Four of Pentacles. Trying to be too controlling, maybe. Uh, do save some money. Don't go out and blow a bunch of money. But this is someone trying to hold on to what it is that they have. And I feel you, you know? Especially when people are adding more and more restrictions. We don't want to lose our rights, our freedoms, or our jobs, or the things that we hold dear. Our lives, our health. So, I understand this need to kind of control our surroundings. What else for the collective spirit? Whoa. Okay. Judgment and Nine of Swords. So we may feel backstabbed in this moment. We may start to feel betrayed or feel like things aren't going to work out the way we want it. And that can be hurtful and painful, especially when it's something huge like a career or a marriage or something you thought was going to turn into marriage. Um, so whatever this is for you, it could have been you were starting a business and now it turns out you can't do what you thought you were going to be able to do. So we have this inner knowing, we have this inner calling about what is taking place, okay? And for a lot of us, we're being taken advantage of, or hurt, or stabbed in the back, or somebody's just keeping us from doing what we want. And that doesn't sound as painful as it really is. 
Mercy snoring, if you can hear it. Anyway, we're trying to control, like hold on to every little bit that we have, but I feel like it's all for naught. I feel like we're gonna find something out that maybe we already deep down knew, uh, but it's gonna change the course of things. Judgment is like, mercy. Snoring. So it's like, it's gonna change the course of things for us and we're gonna be placed on a different course because the way we were trying to hold on to things, the way we tried to make it happen was failure or is gonna be failure or someone just saying no. And it feels, it does feel like an outside authority or person or something in your life that is kind of forcing you you know, it's coming down and trying to control you. So we're trying to hold on to everything we have because we feel like some sort of outside force is saying, no, oh, you wanna do that? You feel like you have personal sovereignty and freedom, you should be able to do whatever you want? No, you can't. So this judgment call is made. Somebody makes a call here. It's an inner knowing, it's an inner calling, and someone makes a judgment about it. This could be legal cases, this could be dealing with the government, but a judgment call is made and things have to shift. So a decision is made and hopefully we come out of this energy, okay? Maybe this is us calling for judgment, calling for someone to say, uh, is someone gonna put a stop to this? Is anybody gonna stand up to this? Eight of Swords on the bottom. In our heads, negative thinking, expecting the worst, focus on the fact that we don't feel free, that we don't, we can't leave, we can't go do the things that we want. Who's gonna put a stop to this? <laughs> this pain, I've had enough. I wanna be in control of my own destiny. I don't wanna every time I try to do something, I'm told no, 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 no. Somebody's got to make this judgment call. Is it going to be you? I hope so. I love you guys. I hope you're having the best weekend. It's going to be rough. It's going to be hell. It's going to be hectic. But hang in there. All right? And I'll see you guys in the next one.